Good morning. <clears throat> this is Reverend Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. Wanted to finish what I was going to say yesterday before my battery pat uh, battery died, passed away, whatever you want to say. Uh, these digital cameras, the batteries don't stay fully charged for very long. Long story short, uh, if I can make it short, what I was going to say was that the problem is with Jim Baker and a lot of other people back years ago, um, back in the you know 70s and 80s, and even in the 90s, it was always about making lots of money making lots of money you got it, it if you made lots of money you had a nice uh, new million dollar house and thirty thousand dollar car and you know what have you I mean anything that you can your 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 heart's content more or less anything that that you know a lot of a lot of false preachers out there on TV got caught up in this spirit of making lots of money in order to be blessed and oh yeah if you give me a thousand dollars and God will make sure you have ten thousand dollars give me ten thousand give, give me ten thousand and God will make sure you have a million so on, so on, so on, so on. The more you give, the more you get. That isn't how God works. He blesses those who do give. Granted, it also says that, uh, you know, cup runneth over and all that stuff in the Bible. But a lot of people get so caught up in that that teaching and they, they just totally you know believe that if God gives if you give God is going to give ten times more ten times well actually um, God does give he does supply but he does it in his own time and his own way. Not the way preachers preach. Uh, to give you an example, a long time ago, I found a dog where I was when I was live when I was still married to my first wife and living there. I found a dog. And I called the police and I asked if there was any reports of a lost dog. They said yes. They came and got the dog. And a few days later, I'm needing $20 to pay a bill. And, you know, I was out of work and didn't have, you know, any money coming in. My wife was working, but she didn't want to help pay the bill. Long story short, I got this thank you card in the mail from the person that owned the dog was well, guess what twenty dollars in the in the card there God had just supplied my need when I needed it through somebody I didn't even know that is how God works Yeah, it was twenty dollars. I'm I'm always I'm always praying and asking God to help me to fix up my home. To send somebody my way that, that can help me, you know, carpenters or, or whoever. That 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 could do it out of their you know, help me out of their own pocket. You know, get the material that I need and and uh, you know come here and, and you know help me and well I'm you know I'm still trusting in God 
not trusting too much in man anymore or their faith in God because if they really had faith in God they would come here and 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 uh, help me because the Bible says if you give it will be given unto you that's where the pressed down chicken together and running over comes from but God didn't say how much he will give he blesses those who bless others but it's not always monetary you can be blessed by something else that you need through somebody else so this is how it works you help somebody somebody helps you somebody helps that person somebody helps and so on 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 granted you know sometimes somebody might have they you know they, they can't you know do manual labor work and and or they you know they're so rich they don't want to want to lift a finger anyhow long story short you know maybe there will be monetary you know uh, money you know coming your way if you bless somebody else maybe you have a need to pay pay your mortgage and uh, don't know where that's going to come from long story short God gives in his own time and his own way not the way people not the way preachers false preachers even today even today there are a lot of false preachers the Bible says right here for one I wanted to say right here do not love the world do not love the world or the things in the world if anyone loves the world the love of the father father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh which basically is being gay and lesbian and bisexual that is lust of the flesh lust of the eyes in you know, a pornography and the pride of life make and that pride of life you know be basically making lots of money is not of the father but is of the world and the world is passing away and the lust of it but he who does the will of God abides forever. And then also right underneath of it, it uh, goes on to say, uh, you know, basically in the last hour. And I believe we are living in the last hour of uh, Jesus coming. Um, it says there, you know, we'll be right here. Now look at this one here. It says there will be an Antichrist with a capital A. So that means basically a, a head antichrist the antichrist even now many antichrists and notice that is in small with a small a so there are many antichrists that have come that have come and well are here right now antichrists well are basically people that just it isn't that they don't believe in Christ they believe in Christ but they have a form of Christ but Christ isn't really in them Pat Robertson for one granted I, I like I used to like his, his 700 club I like the news, and that's about all there is to it. Oh, give, 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 and 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 if you give twenty dollars, then you should bump that up to twenty forty dollars, and you should bump that up even more, and bump that up even more, and bump that up even more. 
Because the more you give, the more God will get give you. It's what he believes in. The only thing I got from him was CDs, DVDs, and books. Granted, some of the CDs and DVDs was pretty good and in his books, but that is all I caught from him, from from the 700 Club. I gave from 2003 to about a couple years ago. That's a lot of money at $20 a month. That you know, if I if I if I if I knew about Jim Baker back then, I would have been given to his money. Uh, ministry, excuse me, because given $25 a month, I get a box of uh, freeze-dried food. Huh. I'm helping his ministry, and he's helping me to be ready for what's to come. And still, I could eat that now if I wanted to. Then he has a Saba bread, Saba seed. Saba seed is a hybrid of the Gia seed, which grows in a certain part of the, the, uh, the world, the earth, I should say, a certain part of the earth, and another part of the earth, in a certain climate, that is a lot better than just the regular Gia seed. A lot better. There have been studies that this Saba seed reduces your cholesterol. And makes you feel full. So you don't eat so much. Long story short. He has went out his way in order to try to teach people how to eat healthy. To, you know, to try to reduce the diabetes and high blood pressure and high cholesterol and things like that. Because he's a diabetic. He don't, I mean, not, okay, let me get, let me, let me get this straight. You don't have to be fat to be diabetic. My great grandmother was not fat. She was a small petite woman and she was a diabetic Jim Baker he's not fat he, he's skinny and he's a diabetic because a lot of people think well it's because of all the sweets that you eat not necessarily it isn't the you know the sweets it's all the white foods that you eat white bread potatoes uh, all the, you know, white starches, um, such as, uh, you know, uh, potato, uh, not just potato, uh, what I'm thinking, rice, that's what I'm thinking, of, rice and, and pastas and things of that nature. My battery's starting to <laughs> go low again here, but real quick here, what I'm trying to get across is Jim Baker learned his lesson, God had to throw him in prison uh, to wake him up. That, but that doesn't mean that he cannot still be used of God now or in the future. He's a prophet. And a lot of his visions have come true. So let me put it to you this way. Back off, you so called Christians who are really anti Christs. You have a form of godliness, but you are, and you have a form of Christ, but Christ does not live in your heart because you are not a born again Christian that has the Holy Spirit living inside you, and you don't have the gift of discernment. Like I have. You also 
and don't have the gift of prophecy like Jim Baker and I have and some other uh, Christians have. And I know some of you people out there probably might be Baptists that don't even believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Well, it's in the Bible. Come on now, it's in the Bible. Jesus said, Jesus said that he will send another comforter. And they were supposed to wait on that comforter until he came. Well, he came on the day of Pentecost. He gave them the gift of tongues, the disciples I'm talking about. He also um, empowered them with other powers. Just like he still does today. Oh, there ain't no gifts. There, you know, the gifts are, are, are you know, history. They're, you know, we're so, as, a, as a believer, we're supposed to just live by the fruit of the Spirit. Well, let me tell you this. E, you know, even somebody that has the gifts of the Holy Spirit still live by the fruit of the Spirit, too. The fruit and the gifts goes hand in hand. And if you can't get that, then you're not getting God's Word. Period. You're not. Uh, I'm a Pentecostal, evangelical Christian. I believe in the whole Bible from cover to cover. Granted, we're not living under a lot of the laws. That God had set down where we're supposed to kill our children that they're being unruly and things of that nature. But we are still living under the commandments. Jesus said he didn't come to destroy the law. He came to fulfill the law. He is the law. Well, another thing too is that uh, he said, if you love me, you will obey my commands. Now, he obeyed the commandments. And he also summed up the commandments in, in two words. Love God with all your heart. Know your soul. Also, love each other. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of people out there that don't love themselves because of, uh, um, you know, well, they love money more than they even love themselves. So that's all they think about is money, 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 making money, making money, making money. Oh, I, 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 I work my hand with my hands because that is what Paul taught us that we're supposed to work with our hands and, 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 and. But what if you have arthritis in your hands, and 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 osteoarthritis for one thing? That's what I have, osteoarthritis. My hands swell up and they hurt. Another thing, too, is I, I have seen people in my family, and, and I've had friends that's had uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Their hands were so crippled up, they couldn't do anything, even dress themselves. Long story short, people, get it straight before you start preaching to me and condemning me for knowing what God is really saying. Jim Baker is a good man. He's doing the right thing. He's teaching the right uh, uh, teachings right now. He's teaching the uh, truth of God's word. He is, uh, yeah, he's selling stuff because he believes in uh, making sure people are eating healthy. And he uh, uh, wants to make sure that uh, we are prepared for what is to come. Because he believes that we will go through part of the tribulation. And I do too. Because Jesus said that he will be returning in the clouds first and foremost first to receive the elect to him. 
And he says right in Matthew 24, 29, it will be after the tribulation of those days. After the tribulation of those days. So why would he say after, if that isn't true? Oh, you know, let's just rip that out and, and, and put in there, he's coming before. He's coming before anything happens. We, we don't care what Jesus really says anymore. We're just going to make up what we want and, and we're going to throw it out there and say, here's, you know, here's the truth because we know more than you do because we went to college. Well, I went to college too. Not the Bible college, but I went to college. I went to God's college to get my degrees. That is basically, I studied at home I studied my Bible, I studied the books that was sent to me, and I earned my degrees. I didn't listen to some professor try to tell me something totally different than what the Bible and the Holy Spirit is really telling me. So, uh, that's all really I have to say for now. I know I'm going to get tore up about all this too. You know, on on YouTube and and uh, Facebook and and tore all up by uh, uh, probably on my uh, on my uh, cell phone by getting text messages. So you know, go ahead. You know, tear me up. You know, go show what kind of person you really are deep down inside. Deep down inside, that's where it matters most, especially to God. Have a uh, blessed day.